Uh, your Excellency. Thank you. Your Excellency, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, Mwishimi Warikadhe Kashakwa, our Deputy Governor, Mwishimi Washatwa Krutich, Senator Seki, all the way from Kachado. We have Kihungu, Member of Parliament from Kangema, Mwishimi Wa Gong, King Bin from uh, Emurua Digir, we have our speaker and members of the county assembly of Bomet and from Kiricho, the clergy led by our bishop, now our mini water to Salimiane Buana Sifiwe. Amen. 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 Your Excellency, that was to say welcome to Kablong and to Bomet County. Tukona furaha kwa ile eshima umetu patia, kuchunga na sisi leo kwa ibada, na ile kazi ambaye kumbele yetu. So you are welcome, Your Excellency. Your visit today ni mwaliko ya kanisa. So my people were asking me, ile visit ya deputy imendaje, Nikamwambia yu bado. Sini kweli? Hii ya leo ni ya kanisa. So bado kwa na deni yetu na hiyo deni imekaa. Hiyo inamaanisha ukikuja hapa pengine utakaa one week. Because from all the way from last year we've been postponing. Na hawa nimeambia tutawekea yeye namba ya siku na interest so na itakuwa compound at your excellency so you'll stay here for one week ndio uweze kutembelea kila sehemu ya Bomet county otherwise we are looking forward to hosting you kwa mambo ya maendeleo um your excellency kama vile area mc ameelezea Hili kanisa la Kablong Deliverance Church Hili chengo Foundation iliwekwa na His Excellency the President Wakati huo akiwa member of parliament wa Eldoret North And I'm very sure Your Excellency Lazima amekutuma kuje angalie ile kanzi alianzisha na vile tutapanua hii kazi Nikependa pia kupongeza bishop and all the leadership. Bishop tunakushukuru. Nimekuwa hapa hii ni mara yangu ya pili. Na vile bishop alinielezea alianza kanisa hili akiwa na four members. Yeye na bibi yake included. But as we are speaking, Your Excellency, we have a membership of over 2,000. Na chengo hili limekua ndogo. That is why they need room. Wapate kanisa pia ya watoto wa Sunday school na ya wasazi. And that inform this decision that we invite you so that you be part of us to one vile to answer your kazi. It will not be a small church. Sanctuary kubwa ambaye ita chukua watu around 6,000. Makofi kwa kanisa hili. So pongesi sana na tutawashika mikono. I know atutamaliza leo. But this is a good start for all of us. And I want to request your excellency that you be part of us. Baka tufungue hili kanisa. Because you have been given that responsibility by the president. Alianza na amesema debiti yake atamaliza. Sinikweli? Makofi kwa our debiti president. Kwa sababu hii siku zio siku yangu, your excellency, I just want to make a request. 
on behalf ya wenyeji wa Bomet. Ngawa tuko hapa kablong but I will speak on their behalf. Allow me to address you as the principal assistant of the president. Kuna mambo machaje ambao hawa kama ungepewa nafasi wangeongea. But I want to put a disclaimer your excellency. Hii maneno sio yangu ni ya hawa. I've also been listening to the ground. <laughs> so, I don't want anyone kuniukumu badai. Hii maneno sio yangu. And part of it may be also be touching on me. And all of us, especially the politicians. So, waje nisome hiyo maneno, your excellency, maneno yao. Kwa sababu wako pata nafazi. I know we have radio callers hapa wamekua wakiongea, wakinakoja, wako hapa. Sindio, muku hapo? Eh, wasimame tu radio callers. They are opinion leaders of this community. And some of the information tunapata kupitia hawa kwa sababu ni watu wa ground. Sindio? Kwa mwana mwana leku wako? Anabaka? Mwana. Yeah? Some of the issues have been touched by these leaders, but I will just mention for emphasis, Your Excellency. Um, I want to start by saying the sermon that we have received today has given us a very strong foundation for this discussion. And that was a very powerful message, Bishop. And I'm very sure it has reached all corners of this republic. Because I want to believe that we are live in your page, Your Excellency. So, iyo uchumbe imefikia kona sode sa inji yetu ya Kenya. One, Your Excellency, and I want to put in point form so that I don't take a lot of time. And this is from them. Sio miyangu, ni yao. Kwanza, Your Excellency, tunashukuru mungu hapa tumefika kama taifa la Kenya. Na asa kama serikali ya Kenya kwanza. Tunashukuru mungu. That is what they are saying. Savari haikuwa raisi and we should not forget that. That is what these people are saying. They are also reminding us, Serikali ya Kenya Kwanza, of our slogan, which we still have it. Sio wichawi ni maumbi. They remember that. And they are still reminding us that's you, Uchawi, ni maumbi. But they are asking me questions, Your Excellency. And I will also want to believe, because you are the principal assistant of the president, that this message will get to the president. What they are asking, Kama si Uchawi, ni maumbi, but what went wrong until we find ourselves in such a difficult situation? That is what they are asking. That has been a very difficult question for me to ask. And one of the pastors, when he visited my office, gave me a scripture in the book of Revelation, chapter 2, verses 4 to 5. This is a message that was given to a church called Ephesus. Called Alimwambia Hili Kanisa ya Kwamba, Anachua kazi zake The labor And everything But there is one thing Walukua wameanguka mahali So your excellency Led by our president And you deputizing Can we do a lot of soul searching What went wrong Kwa sababu hii Serikali yetu Ilizimamishwa na maombi Lakini shida iko wapi. So I know God will give you wisdom with the president so that you can lead the country in that soul searching. That is one. It's not my message, Your Excellency. It's a message from these people. 
Number two. I know the president and you deputizing the president mean well for this country. Despite the so many challenges that we have, some of them inherited and some of them have come by as, you know, any administration has its own issues. But, Wanaiji, Your Excellency, from my discussion, listening to the ground, are disappointed with me and all of us. Sinikweli, amalasema uongo. They are disappointed with all of us, especially the politicians who are surrounding our president and our deputy president and our governors and everybody, up to including the MCS. And from their communication, they are blaming us that we are the one letting you down, the president and the deputy president. And we are the one who are giving you the bad name that we have as a government. And they have mentioned a number of issues. I will just mention a few, Your Excellency. This is your message. This is my message. This is a message to the president and to all of us. Number one, where we have gone wrong. Where I have gone wrong. I don't want to say you. Where I have gone wrong. Number one, they have mentioned, and probably this is also informing the revolt that we have from our young people. It's actually beyond the finance bill, Your Excellency. To be honest, it's not just about finance bill. There are a raft of issues. Finance bill to Ilifat, Iliwapahau Avenue to air out their issues. And we support the framework that has been put by the president in place. The youth forum. And I saw the terms of reference touches on a number of issues beyond the finances or taxation, which is good for all of us. That will be the foundation of our discussion. So one issue that they mentioned is that we have carelessness and unwarranted pronouncement and display of arrogance and opulence in the midst of poverty. Which risks dividing the country and they are advising us that we must weigh our words carefully before speaking out. Na wamesema kama auna lolote la kusema nyamasa. Thank you kiwana ndekuwa. Number 2. They are also accusing me and all of us that we are misadvising and missing and his deputy Ricardo Kashakwa. In the issues affecting Wanaingi, as well as the mood on the ground on several issues. They are saying, let us tell each other the truth, even if it is Peter. We can only remain friends if we can tell ourselves the truth. That is the only way we can ensure our survival as a government and as a country. That is not my message, Your Excellency, so don't accuse me. They were telling me, I'm listening to the crowd as you advise. <laughs> the other issue that they mentioned, Your Excellency, is disrespecting the presidency. That is the president and his deputy by some of us. And by the way, let me tell you, Your Excellency, Wanaingi are not for these fights. They are not. I know much about here. They are not for these fights. They are not. They are against these fights. They know what they will lose. I thought I find my end to keep Ghana. Because we'll be busy putting off fires all over. So they don't want. 
That is just but a few, Your Excellency. Maybe I will just hand over the notes, but I hear so that you can read and also take to the President. <laughs> Number three, what they have also told me after listening to the ground, that they have all the confidence in you and the President. <laughs> and they are saying, Your Excellency, being the principal assistant, continue supporting the president. That is the message they are giving me. And they have given me assurance that they will also support you. That is what they say. So that our president can succeed and so that we can deliver as Kenya Kwanza government. There is a promise that we gave to these people. And the only way that we can succeed and deliver on that promise is by us uniting as one country. That is the message they are giving me. Uh, if there are issues, that is also what they are saying, then let us retreat to the boardroom, sort out ourselves, to become a pale, to kitoka inje, to onyeshe umoja ya fiongosi wa Kenya. And they are saying, please let all of us do all this with utmost humility. You can't succeed alone. You need my support. The president cannot succeed alone. He needs the support of the deputy president. He needs the support of the MCAs. So, to shuke chini, na to shikane mikono sisi wote, bearing in mind that we are leaders of this Republic of Kenya. Sindio? Yeah, we can't have Kenya if we don't have Kablo. We can't have Kenya if we don't have Bomet. So all of us are equally important. Irrespective of your age, you are equally important. Irrespective of your position, an MCA is as important as the president. So for all of us to succeed, Lasima to Shekane Mikono. Finally, Your Excellency, I've said the rest of the notes I will hand over to you, either in soft copy or add, if you add copy, if you want to have it that way, Your Excellency. Finally, what has happened is a wake-up call. It is good it has happened when we still have time to redeem ourselves. And that is what the book of Revelation, chapter 2, verses, uh, I think, 5. We have to look back and find our way where did we fail. We need to amend our ways, as earlier alluded by the scripture that I've mentioned, in a number of ways. They have also given me the way forward, Your Excellency. These people from Bomeda are very sharp, by the way. Very sharp. But <laughs> more They are very sharp. By the way, let me tell you, we have issues, but we normally solve them in-house. The only thing is Bomet. I don't know that, whether you know that, Your Excellency. The only county that we didn't have demonstration also by our HNCs, but that does not mean we don't have issues, is here. Because in April, to look at a conference, yeah, youth. We had a conference of youth where we invited over 1,500 youths to address the challenges that are facing the youth. And number one was the issue of unemployment. So, and I promised them that I will use the 1,500 cohort as an example. So next year, we'll be having the first anniversary. And we must report what we have been able to do for the 1,500 graduates that appeared for our first conference, youth conference. So there are issues, a number of issues that they've mentioned, which I think you'll still read from the notes that I will hand over uh, to you. Now, they have given the way forward, Your Excellency. And one, to my fellow politicians, let us carry ourselves with humility and avoid arrogance. The people we lead have feelings, and they also know what is right and what is wrong. And let us be focused on the cause. Come away in the MCA, fanya kazi yako. MB, fanya kazi yako. Deputy President, naya fanya kazi yake. Na President, afanya kazi yako.
But when we are reacting to issues, when we are addressing challenges, when we are giving out government policies to pay on it, the humility. You know, the problem that we have in this country, Your Excellency, if I have to be honest, it is only you and the president who knows how to package the message. By the way, our people are pack uh, packaging the message that way, even the finance bill. So, Kitumbaya, but how we package becomes a problem. In a letter, Shida. Because the messenger, Nimutumbaya. So, the message here in Akuambaya is because the way we portray ourselves, the way we present ourselves before Wanaingi, with a lot of arrogance. Tuna pepa pesa na mfuko, unatoa, na zina pesa, unarudisha ingine kwa ndege, watu laize and I don't have money. That is the way, and that is what is uh, generating a lot of unnecessary frictions between us and Wanaingi. So we have to correct that. Number two, we need to improve on our relationship. And uh, Your Excellency, Isolating ourselves may not be the good thing. Na moja aliliuliza jana, nikiwa hapa in our preparation. Aka niuliza, how will you unite the country if you cannot be united as leaders? Nimelala usiku nikifikiria yomambo kweli, are we preaching water and drinking wine? Because we want one united Kenya. I'm sorry, Your Excellency. I only received one apology from Toto Women Rep. I don't see my members of parliament. I don't know whether they have been instructed not to associate with the deputy president or not. And I want to stand by saying, if we want to unite the country, let us embrace everybody. Even if we have different opinions. It's only by being close so that we can preach those cups, if there are any. But don't be cheated. Don't be cheated. And I want to still talk to our people in Rift Valley. If there is any community that should be going down on knees to build preachers, it should be the Kalenji. <laughs> if there is any community that is desperate, it is us, the Kalenji. Let us not behave like we have come for second term. Pardon, we have 2027. 20, so unless we behave, then mambo aita kuwa mazuri hapo mbeleni. And I have to be honest. Sitaki kuongea mambo kando kando. Me, I normally, even your excellence, you know me. When I have an issue, I text. When I don't reach you, na nina kuandikia vile ilivyo. The same thing I do to the president. Because sitaki kuangalia mambo ikiaripika, and they are very common among the challenges. Me, I want to say to see Naniseme. Senior, let us associate with the deputy president. He is the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. Even if you don't respect him as a person, respect his office. Senior, so, Kalian, Gabano, our members of parliament. Ngawa Ngoka Meongea, Akizeme Mambo, your finance bill. It is not about finance bill. To Kokanisani, and this is where Tunatubu Tambisot. My man? So, Mati Tatian in Yengong. Chitana Ganyuru, Apology Nanin and Egongo to Togoya, Kuantongulo. I won't get all the Munes, Manyo Toto. We have to be honest. William. William. I saw his square 
So onge jam jiji, onge riki jiji. Si ko ngale kora jama ngule nguti ni ni ang kogri riki, ongale ke yu meje jek tugul. Ko kas ngale jang kamwa? Iko sa tarimbo? Onge riki jiji, onge riba ge riki, ang kot ke jam William. Lagi ni kot ima jai kut ewe rian, le ite ewe ri William, ite ngalala te ngale jang ni mua e, ogi ve taba ni endri, onge riki. Sugori bok lain ni tabu liam e, oke ri mi alek. Your Excellency, I was just emphasizing that I will give you notes after this so that you can read. Um, Alois, now beyond Kalenjin, as Kenya Kwanza government and politician is Kenya Kwanza. I know we are reaching out to other communities that didn't support us in 2022. And I want to tell you, if we have fights within, no one is willing to join you. Watu wanasema mumalize kwanza, hiyo fire mumeanza, ndiyo tuangalie manene yeni. We have started making progress, reaching out to other communities, so that we make our comeback in 2027 easier. But because of what we are doing and the way we are be behaving and the fights that we are bringing within the government is destroying that. And then, Your Excellency, the other one that they are saying is uh, listen to our people and be sensitive to their needs. I think it is in line with what we've been saying that we listen to the ground. Um, and then, uh, finally, because I'm seeing the MC, is saying because we land over the notes there is no my, there, there is no need of um, uh, mentioning everything they are also saying your excellency the last one as the way forward that they want to see radical changes in the government and i repeat your excellency radical changes in the government they are saying people who have given and that's why I'm, i was Careful to write. You know, I'm a teacher trained, so I don't want to be misquoted. So, um, people who have been given, um, given, uh, who have been, who has given the president. President, a new apart name, and our government should no longer be the face of our administration. That is what. What they are saying and they are also praying to you that god may give you wisdom as you implement that so we have to sit down na tuangalie vile tuta tengeneza inji yetu Waje tuonge Of peace number two You must eh? Unity For us to have peace we have number Number four was Receive Jesus eh? Eh? Yeah we have prayer we must pray for our country. And I want to tell you, Your Excellency, these people have given you their sh You, they are praying for president, they are praying for unity of the Republic of Kenya. So, Iyo Maneno, Your Excellency, to send a soft copy of the same, so that you can pass to the president. Allah is thank you. And once again, Your Excellency, Karibu Bomet, to Konafra, and we are looking forward to hosting you for development tour. Now, Kwaeshima, Tunataka Kukaribisha, our deputy president, Aungena Sisi.